Hello guys, welcome to our third, uh, third video on our Django Go tutorial. On this video, we are going to configure the web backloader on the Django project. That will enable us to fetch uh, the latest uh, compiled JavaScript from the boot front end and uh, make it live on the index.html which will be created under the templates folder of our Django project. So what you need for this uh, this video, we are going to install uh, the Django webpack loader using pip. So you just need to write uh, pip install Django webpack loader loader this now will install the the package yeah and it's installed once uh, the Django pack loader is installed we'll go to your project and the settings we are going to import we are going to import the the Django webpack loader which will now be made available in our project so we load webpack loader now we can we, we are going to add some more configurations about the loader which will now be using in our app webpack loader. so we are going to configure um, some few things like the bundle directory name the static file which will be now be used to update the appearance or let's say the way our application is going to look and also ignore some files so we'll start with the webpack loader the, then we have the default the default setting because the first thing we don't want it to cache anything so cache not when it's on the bad mode the bundle directory name the bundle name we don't uh, we will not set it for now because we are not uh, creating the deployment bundle at this moment the start file now this contains uh, the configuration file to point to uh, the main javascript file which will be used to load the content is in which directory and so on so it will be in our os the path the join the base directory in our front end and we will call it webpack that's.json okay don't worry about the file i know currently it's not yet created but once we do the same same configuration on the book front end part once we run our local local front-end application it will be able to create this webpack stats.json file automatically for us yes yeah, so let's add some few configurations the interval we can set it to 0 0.1 second the timeout we can set it to now letting it uh, throw the time out and we're going to ignore some files and we are going to pass a list anything that started dot 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 js and also we can ignore the maps the dot map files uh, yeah, and I guess for the Django web configuration, we are good to go. Now, once we configure 
the same same settings on our front end part that will be mostly on the configuration part which we'll be doing next you'll be able to notice the changes and now we'll be able to display our default page uh, not linking from the local hosts port 8080 but we map it to the Django main main URL which is the local hosts port 8000 thank you and see you in the next one